Hello everyone and welcome back to Rice Fix. And guys, today in this video, we will check out the fuses and relays in the car, where they are located and how to check them. All those things I will share with you in this video. So without any further ado, let's get the video started. So this is today's car, guys. So let's go inside the car, put the key in, unlock the car, open the door, and get inside. And here you will have to come under the steering. Now in some cars, the fuse box is inside the car, it is inside the hood, in some cars it is only in the hood, but in this car guys, in this car the fuse box is inside the car as well as in the hood. So first we'll open the fuse box which is inside the car, what is inside this fuse box that I will show you now. Now on this cover it is written fuse, you guys have seen that already. Now to open this cover you will have to put your hand here and pull this cover out. Once you open the cover you will have to see on the back side of the cover. On the back side you will notice that there is a sticker and the sticker will have the diagram of the fuses. Sometimes it is also engraved on it and on this sticker it is written which fuse is for what. If this type of sticker or the diagram is not there on the cover then check on the car manual. It will be there somewhere guys. Either there will be a sticker on the cover like this or it might be engraved on the dash somewhere here on the side or you will have to check on the manual. So look for it everywhere, search for it and see where your diagram is. Now you will have to keep this diagram according to the fuses. Now as you guys can see if I hold this cover in this direction, then in this direction all the fuses are located. Both of them should match like this. If you are holding it on the wrong side, then they won't match. So once you match the cover, now you will have to see which fuse is for what. Now each fuse inside here is for what purpose that it is shown in the form of a diagram on the sticker. For example, we'll see now on this sticker, just take that your front windshield wipers are not working. Suddenly they stopped working. So you will have to come here, open this cover and on this sticker you will have to see which is the windshield wiper fuse. So here we will go slightly closer to the sticker and we'll see where is the windshield wiper fuse. So as you guys can see, this is the, the placement of this car windshield wiper fuse. So let's go near the fuses now and we'll see where this fuse is located. Now on this sticker, you will have to count the boxes from the left side. So here I will count the boxes. So this is one box, this is second box, this is third box and in the fourth box our windshield wiper fuse is located. So now I will go near my fuses and I will check where this fuse is. So this is the first fuse, this is the second fuse, this is the third fuse and this is the fourth fuse. So this fuse is my front windshield wiper fuse. This is a 25 amps fuse and on the diagram also it is written 25 amps fuse. You guys have seen that already. So let's check one more thing guys. So if your rear brake light is not turning on, even after replacing the old bulb with a new bulb, it just doesn't turn on. Then we'll come here and we'll check the fuse first. So the fuse of the brake light is this one guys, on which it is written stop. So we'll go near the fuses and we'll see where this fuse is now. Now we'll see first where it is located on the sticker first. So let's count the boxes guys. So this is the first box, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. So in the eighth box it is written stop as you guys can see. So now let's go near the fuse box and let's count the boxes from there now. So this is the first box, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. So this is our stop brake light fuse. So guys I'm hoping that you have understood that if there is something wrong with your car, then you can come here, look at this diagram and according to the problem you are facing, how to check your fuse. So go ahead and check on your car where this fuse box is located first. Look for this diagram and once you know where this is located, then that is enough guys. If in the future some problem comes, then you can come here and check the fuse. So come on, let's put the cover back. You'll have to just push it inside and the cover will snap in place. So now pull this button up which will open the hood of this car. So now come on let's go near the next fuse box. So here I have opened my hood and this is my battery. Now always guys this fuse box is located very close to the battery. Because from the battery the main connection goes to this fuse box. So I will open this fuse box now. Now to open this fuse box you will have to press the clip like this and pull the box up. So here opens my fuse box. Now for what these fuses are and this relay switches are, how we will come to know about that. Now on top of this fuse box, you guys can see that there is something here. This is also a fuse guys. This I have put separately. This is my amplifier fuse because I have connected a buffer in this car guys. So if there is a problem with my amplifier or something becomes short, then this fuse will blow first. So once you open the box, you guys can see that inside the box there are many fuses and relay switches. Now for what all these relay switches and fuses are for, you will come to know when you see behind of this box cover. Under this, 
as you guys can see the diagram is here so if any fault comes in your car guys for example your ac is not giving cold air sometimes what happens is your ac relay switch which turn the fan on inside the hood stops working and because the relay switch doesn't work the fan doesn't start and your ac will not give the cold air so the first thing that you will have to do is keep the diagram in the right position which will match the fuse box so as you guys can see on the diagram this is my aircon relay switch now let's locate this inside the fuse box so this is the relay switch guys you guys will have to check if this switch is working or no so keep a finger on top of the switch like this and turn the ac on from inside if this switch clicks what i mean by that is a click sound will come or if your finger feels that something is clicking inside then it means that it is working if it is not clicking it means that your relay switch is broken like this you can check all your relay switches if some are working and if that is not working then you can exchange both the switches and see if your ac is turning on but you should make sure that the relay switch you are replacing it with should be of the same amps if you put a higher amp relay switch then it can create a problem so always keep a note on the amps so once you exchange the relay switch if your ac turns on then you can be sure that the problem is with the relay switch i'm hoping that you have understood what i'm trying to tell you here many time it happens guys that ants go inside of this relay switches and they make a home inside and when many ants go inside of this switch guys they get in between of the switch and the relay switch when it snaps cannot get connected to the other side and because of this ants your ac doesn't work and now because you feel that your ac is not working you take your car to a ac repair shop and the ac repair shop knows that it is a relay fault but sometimes he will not tell you that it is a fault of the relay switch he will tell you some other fault and he will charge you more so if any fault come in your ac system see that you come here and check the relay switch first now these two fuses are the main fuses the main wire which comes from the battery is first connected here so if you by mistake connect the negative to the positive and the positive to the negative of a battery then this fuse will blow out first you should pray guys that this fuse blows up if you do this type of things if this fuse don't blow up then your entire car wiring can get spoiled very important relay switches are located in this box guys for example your fuel pump relay switch if your fuel pump is not starting then your car will also not start and that thing happens see that you check the relay switch of the fuel pump now i will show you how to take out the fuses from the box so you will have to take a nose plier like this and hold the fuse with the nose plier and pull it out it is that simple guys once you take the fuse out you will have to check the fuse you will see inside the plastic part that there is a u shaped thing if this u shaped thing is broken in between or if it is burnt then you can know that this fuse is spoiled so you will have to replace this fuse to put this back it is very simple you will have to just put it inside like this and you will have to push it inside but see that you put it in the same spot where you had taken it out from on the diagram you can find out where the fuses are located and how many amps fuse you are putting back guys that also you will have to keep a note because sometimes the fuses are not available on the shop and they will give you a higher amp fuse and they will say it is okay if you put it but if a problem comes in your car then your wiring will get spoiled guys so think about it now to take out the relay switch it is slightly a task you will have to move it shake it a little bit and you will have to apply a lot of force and pull it out so here comes out my relay switch now as you guys can see this relay switch is of 12 volts and 20 amps now according to this specifications you will have to replace the relay switch now the pins of this relay switch how they are you guys can see that here now when you turn on anything inside of this relay switch something snaps which clicks and turns the switch on and the switch is turned on now inside of this socket you guys can see how it is now to put this back align the switch pins according to the socket and just push it inside if you want to replace the fuse from the inside box then let's go inside the car let's open the cover and by using same type of nose plier you will have to pull out the fuse and put the new fuse back inside so guys i'm hoping that this video was useful to you and you have learned a lot from this video so that's all in this video guys i will meet you guys in my next video till then bye and take care